Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, hanging out with my good and old, old time buddy, Mr. John Cones Koneski of Tenacious D and other bands, including Winchester <laughs> and, and a bunch of other, Trainwreck, you know, all the <laughs> little side projects when, when right. Jack and Kyle aren't getting along, you know, you can <laughs> you jump into the other projects. Um, dude, it's so nice to have you here. We're, yeah. we're in, in Nashville right now. I invited you out here. Uh, to make some content we hadn't hung mm -hmm. in a while. Yeah. And then uh, also while we're while we're here, let's talk about what you, how you're making that harmony. And yeah. also play one time without me playing the rhythm. Oh yeah, yeah. sure. Explain what you were doing. Why not? Okay. You're uh, looping a lick. Yeah. Then it starts to loop and you play another lick on top of it. Yeah. But also you have a harmonizer. Right. So there's a, uh, and you, you know the key of the song. Right, yeah. So you have a, you put the mm -hmm. key. Yeah, in. it's an intelligent pitch shifter. So. And then harmonizes on top of that. Yes. So there's a lot of busy stuff going on. Right. Yeah, so when we started doing the song live... There was a while where Tenacious Z didn't play that song? Well, there was a bit for a while where it would, like, play, and it would be mimed. Oh, whatever. gotcha, and gotcha. it was like, this is, yeah, whatever. So then, like, when they decided to kind of take it on, for a while I would just use the harmonizer or just kind of play whatever was, like, the, the front lick or whatever right, sure. that was happening. But, like, as I had time to sort of build it up, I started thinking, like, how could I really accomplish, like, three guitars, because in the movie, Kyle has six arms and right, he's playing right, a three-neck right, right. guitar and playing all Wait, the Wait, that parts. wasn't real? It wasn't real, <laughs> no, it was uh, movie magic. <laughs> First thing you ever learned on guitar? The first thing that I can remember would have been uh, Stairway to Heaven. Okay, scratch that. What was the second thing you ever learned? Probably Smells Like Teen Spirit. Oh, uh, let's see it. Can't go wrong, man. <laughs> I'll throw this out there. You're also in Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Yeah, briefly. I mean, it's funny when that was happening. Do you get was, the guy's brain splatters on you? I get a little bit of brains on me. Yeah, <laughs> so that's the scene that you're in is the uh, yeah, when, Master uh, Exploder yeah. dream sequence. You're in the audience. Yes. And Amy Adams is in the audience. Yeah, there's a, there's Free a few fame. people. Free fame. Yeah, right. And then uh, our buddy Pat Walsh, he's the guy whose head explodes. <laughs> and then I remember they brought in a, a fake Pat head. <laughs> It was so cool, and then it like so you know, blew up, and I had Pat Walsh's brains on my face. That sounds like a pretty fun <laughs> day at work. It was, yeah. Yeah, man. At the time, I was really just working as Kyle's assistant on the, the gig, because I was playing a train wreck with him, and I had just moved to L.A., and kind of didn't have a whole lot of going on, and he was like, be my assistant. And he's like, see a movie get made and get brains on your face. So. <laughs> sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was really uh, cool. But real quick, you play banjo on video games? I do, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm a fingerstyle guitar player, so my version of banjo is kind of, I don't think it's really real. I mean, it's fingerstyle, like, you can get it close. I, right. I'm right. sure, like, if a banjo player was, like, oh, watching, yeah. you'd be like, here in town, they would, you would oh, get, I get laughed get, out of the saloon. You get fired, or yes, whatever. You, get, yeah. Yeah. you get thrown out double doors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. But it's fun. I never thought that I would ever play a banjo on the Tenacious D set, but it's fun to have more stuff to do. Like, I just like to keep building up what I add. You know, like I always just want to, I just love it so much and respect it so yeah. much that like I've, I've come to this sort of like thing where I'm like, I want it to be like canon. Like, like if the albums are like canon, those tones and stuff, right. I want to have like canonical guitar sounds that like, you know, that respect that 
thing. Yeah, I love it. How did you end up playing in Tenacious D? You're from Ohio? I'm from Ohio. Me and my buddy John Spiker, we're both from Ohio. He plays bass uh, in the D. So we had a band. Our drummer's girlfriend, she um, met Kyle randomly. And at that time, Kyle was starting Trainwreck. And I think Jack started making movies more or something. I don't specifically know exactly what it was, but I know their touring kind of fell off a little bit. Kyle wanted to do this with, with JR, who was uh, lead. And then the concept was JR and Kyle They'll just go to a town, pick up some local yokels, and kind of the Chuck Berry used the to Chuck do that. The Chuck Berry model, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and we were like the we were the Chuck Berry because they were like you were like of, the first one, right? Right. And then we ended up being the and only. And then he was ones. like, "Screw this! Yeah. Like, I'll just use you, you guys. Just use you guys, right? You're dumb and young. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, how old were you when that happened? Gosh, I want to say I was maybe 22. See, easy. Uh, yeah, I know, easy mark. You were no. like clay in his <laughs> but, hands. But, but it was also, I mean, it was like the happiest piece of clay there ever was. Absolutely. It was like, I'd never thought about, like, it was a dream was all it was. It was sure. Like, I didn't know anything about touring. John and I both, we were just like green as hell. And it was like, you know, oh, we're going to do some shows. Like, we still lived in Ohio when we did the first, like, run of three shows. It was like a little Midwest run with him. Yeah. It was like, oh, this is like what touring is. And it was van tour, and yep. it was like so cool. And then John and I moved to LA at the same like, together. We're basically like to work with Kyle, not to do not Tenacious specifically. D. Not specifically. There wasn't no. I mean, Tenacious D wasn't on the table at that time. I'm right. sure John and I, as young idiots, were like maybe you. Yeah. Maybe you. <laughs> but it did happen. But then it did happen. Yeah. So we apparently we weren't idiots. John and I moved to do our own band. Like we had like a pop, like duo thing that we were doing. Quickly gave up on that when we got there, and. Uh, hit up Kyle and he's like, hell yeah, let's do like train wreck shows and stuff. So mm -hmm. we just went from there. That was like a couple years before the idea of Pick a Destiny started getting like, started hearing things. And then it's like, you know, the, there's a script and stuff and these, this is for real. And then it was like, do you guys want to play on the record? And yeah. The brains exploded. Yeah. It was like yeah. the best possible thing that could have ever happened. Now you helped write the song The Metal, right? That was an afternoon at Kyle's. Like, I remember at that time there were like schedule, like it was like, there were deadlines because it was like a movie. And it was like, we need something for this and something for that. And I'm just sort of in the orbit, like. Right, you know, trying to help and just keep where, the wheels going. You know, going. like yeah. just sort of any kind of crumb that I, I was <laughs> yeah. so. Uh, yeah, like, ready to give me ready everything. To give some, yeah, yeah. yeah, Kyle and I were just hanging out and there he was like, we need something for Master Exploder. Like we need a big like Master Exploder riff or something. I was just dropped. It wasn't no, it wasn't even dropped. E. It was like an E, just kind of playing some. And then he would kind of like be like, now do this, do this, and like yeah, yeah. Sort of like we sort of sculpted it together. It didn't become Master Exploder, obviously. Right. And then the metal isn't even in the movie. It just so happened that like the idea Jack had the idea of the metal. Right. I mean, which is really, that's what that song is. Right. It's like this brilliant concept of you can't destroy the metal, you know. Yep, I mean, yep. The riff is almost sort of inconsequential, <laughs> but but then it was like, it ended up being a big riff too, because like it, at that point, like Didn't Guitar Didn't they get Hero, Guitar Hero? Yeah, it was Guitar Hero 3, which was like a big oh, one. Was that the Slash one? I think it might have been. Yeah. If, we were like the big boss, like the metal. Yeah. Was like the boss it was like, yeah, it's fucking the Can you play the metal? Yeah, sure. I do it in drop D now because the back half of it you need it for the was all, chunky parts. Yeah. The riff was written and recorded in E. And then all of the drop D stuff was recorded separately. Yeah. And then kind of chopped together and placed. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Just because of all the years of rocking, myself and Chibson, you've heard of Chibson, yeah, of course, the great of course. corporation. Yeah. <laughs> we want to thank you for the years of rocking Tenacious D. And with that, I give you this Chibson one of a kind humbuckle. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, 
belt humbucker oh, belt a, buckle. That's a beaut. <laughs> um, you know, awesome. you can wear it proud. It is for your contribution yeah. of melting faces across the world with Tenacious thank you. D. And me and the Tenacious D fans, all thank you. And, you know, I hope you wear it proud. I, I will. Yeah, yeah. It's like I won the rodeo. It's awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, man. Thank so you. wear it proudly. And also. And thank you, Chibson. Yes. Thank you, Chibson. Jason USA. I'll leave a link for all your stuff, you know, like your Instagram, Winchester. Hopefully you guys know Tenacious D. We don't need to yeah. plug Tenacious D, I don't <laughs> right. think. Right. I want people to check out all the different different things that you're doing besides Tenacious D. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs>